So here's what you're going to need to transfer um, your sketch to a canvas. You're going to need any type of canvas that you want for this type. I'm going to do something a little smaller because I just knocked out a couple of like big pieces. So this is it. Um, tape, a mechanical pencil, and some type of ink pen. I usually like to use something that doesn't have a whole lot of ink put out. Uh, so like a ballpoint pen isn't going to work just be, just for the sake of like keeping things as clean as possible. Um, these big soft feel medium pens are great and this one is red because it helps me figure out what I have done and what I haven't done already. So you're going to go ahead and put tape on each end of your sketch. This is just something it doesn't have to be totally like done the whole way because you can always embellish it more when it's on the canvas. So then you line up your canvas where you want it to be. Okay. You can keep room for any background that you want. But yeah, just line it up and tape it on and then make sure that it's centered the way you want it. This actually is not. So we're going to redo that. And for anybody who's asking uh, what kind of paper this is that I'm using, it's just regular uh, tracing paper. You can get it at pretty much any art store. Okay, that's better. My cat wants to help, apparently. Get out of here. Go on. Okay, so now that it's all lined up, make sure that all the little like edges and grooves and everything in the paper is smoothed down and taped down. That way it doesn't move whenever you start to transfer your design. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you're going to take your pen and literally all you're doing is going directly over those lines that you've already created. See? See what transfers? That's the whole point. Okay, so what you're going to do is now you're going to pull the tape off and check out your transfer. And now's the time to like, set this aside, put turn it back around on its normal, and put it here so that you can go off of that and, you know, adjust whatever it needs to be. Just keep in mind that it's going to be the reverse of what you did because it was... All right, so there you go. You have your base for whatever you want to do. And from this point, it's really just letting your mind go on it. Have fun. I'm going to go paint this. I will not um, record painting it just because it's going to take too long. I don't have the proper camera space to do it but um yeah it will definitely be up for sale when i get it done and you will definitely see pictures of it so thanks for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial i will have a bunch more like this coming up and some where you'll actually get to see me paint and the finished product and everything i do apologize for not um including 
like the process and the whole finish and everything, but I just don't have the space in my phone right now because I'm recording on my phone. So um, eventually I will get that pulled together. But thank you again so much for watching and I will see you again soon.